Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 23 of my lower league management playthrough with Bath City. And here comes the end of the league season in this episode. Got two more games to finish it off to make sure we do qualify in the playoff position, whichever position uh, it may be, second, third, fourth, or fifth. We need to at least draw, I think, uh, to make sure of it, because Hayes and Yetting, if we lose both games and they win both, they can overtake us. But honestly, uh, it's really unrealistic. We should be beating Farnborough at home and, yeah, ensure that position. But I really thought to make sure, well, not make sure, to give myself the best chance to get promoted, I really wanted to make use of my 600 per week uh, wage budget, 600 pounds left. And that's a decent amount at this level. So Alan Ryder, he was a younger guy. One of my scouts came. He's got a five-star report. And he's a good player. He's got some good potential. He's got five-star potential ability. Unfortunately, his weakest area of his game is skill and flair, which is very important for attacking player. Uh, but it's not too bad. He's got some other good attributes like dribbling and whatever. So if he decides to join us, it'll be a really good signing. He was only like 35 uh, yeah, 35 pounds per week, which is a decent amount. Then this other guy, while searching for some players from the UK, he's from Wales, and he's a player that will be great, experienced, really good attributes as well for this level. He was actually playing at League 2 level. This is what I mean. you got to search for these players consistently because you could find uh, someone who will be important for your team. He played at League 2 level. It's not like he was just a reserve player. So he actually played uh, a big part uh, for... Newport uh, this season, 17 appearances. Mentally, he's strong, and he's actually strong <laughs> by his attribute, and some decent attributes here. He's got good tackling, uh, good long shots, uh, good long throws is not that important, and penalties, but still, uh, he's an experienced player. He's determined. He looks good. He'll be important. So hopefully we could add him to the squad and, yeah, push for that promotion. But for now, we have to make changes to our current side, uh, Joe Bernal is going to be coming out, and Stride, of course, is suspended. So we're going to bring back in Curtis McKenzie. He's probably one. Yeah, I'll see if I offer him a new contract because he's a younger type, only 20 years of age, quick. Uh, but he hasn't really impressed me so far. Hasn't got amazing ratings, but you have to give him a chance. And, of course, our goalkeeping situation, uh, Churchill, uh, he's coming in. So I'm probably just going to start him and let Jason Mallor go. Of course, he's been good for me. But the thing is, I could probably sign someone better. Like He's not the best in the world. He's only two and a half star report, even though he has done well for me. Uh, so here, anyone to come on? Scott Wilson, I think Tolly. I'm just going to keep going with Tolly, give him experience, because like I said, it's all about experience for next season, improving these younger players, whether it be at the next league above or this league if we don't get promoted. Whatever, uh, yeah, wh whatever our situation is, I want to give them experience in the team. Any midfielders here? There's not much. We've got some low ratings here. I've got Stride. Uh, that's not good. Low. Actually, I'll take Priest off and put Low there. We've still got fitness problems, which is not ideal. But we'll just go into the match here against Farnborough and try and get the win uh, to ensure our position. Look, at that's mixed morale. That's really, really mixed morale. Moses Ashikodi, who's he? He's got a bit of pace, so I have to be wary of him. Uh, but we'll go in, we'll say assertive. Uh, we can secure at least a playoff place here with the win. So go out there and impress me. I'll say that. Come, on. They didn't get a great reaction from that, actually. A couple players looks to switch off. I don't understand that, though. Don't they want to get promoted? Who knows? You would think they would want to. But, yeah, I have no idea, honestly. Ball as well. He's yeah. There's a couple players I want to like McKenzie and Ball. They're two for sure. I want to tie up on the contracts. I think I offered Ball already. I'm not sure, but Tolly Bang, 19th minute goal. This guy's gonna be a superstar. He's got League Two potential, I believe, or at least School Premier. Williams as well. He's one of those younger types. And Tolly, look at that. He's too good. Look at that strike. He's just a youth player coming in. Fifth goal of the season. Great stuff. We should, like I said, we should be beating this team because they're gone and out, or down and out, I should say. They're gone from this league uh, next season. They're actually out of the game now uh, because there's no leagues lower unless you download those leagues. But, of course, I don't. This is the lowest league loaded, so they're going to be out. <laughs> they're going to be out of the game. Well, technically not out of the game, just not playable. 
Uh, so we deserve a lead at the break. It's good stuff. Passionately, I'm pleased with how things are going. Some players listening keenly. That's a bit of better reaction right there. Come on, just push on here. I'll get the win. Yeah, they pick up a yellow card. Emmanuel Monthy. Tolly offside. McKenzie, he's picked up some balls today. That's great. Galena, oh, poor pass, Galena. Win it back. That guy said with the pace, Ajakoti and Churchill picks it up. He's been equally amazing, honestly, in the goalkeeping position for mine as Tolly uh, is up front. He's been really, really promising. Then Tolly goes bang on the second attempt after the rebound off the keeper. <laughs> this guy is going to be good, isn't he? Wow. Hopefully you're growing the same affinity as I am with him right now. That's the thing about these lower levels. You can get these kind of legend players you always remember, like at the top. Like, say with Arsenal or whatever, you're not going to remember the same just like a Diego Costa or whatever. like Because these players you don't really know in real life. It just It's a different feeling. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have to make some subs here. Ross Stern's going to come off. We'll bring on someone, but I'm not sure who. Noah Keats, and we'll drop Jack onto the right side uh, as an inside forward on the wing. Uh, Scott Wilson will come off or oh, leave Tolly for a hat-trick. Nah, you got to leave him on. Especially when there's other positions that needs to be sub, like ball out. And who else? Rollo or who Who do I take off? Galena will bring on Lowe. Can he play there? No, but I'm sure Rollo can. Almost. Uh, drop Bernal there. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough, isn't it? Noah Keats. Let's say pressure is off. Yeah, Aaron Brown, I have faith in him. And Josh Lowe, I'll say that second option as well. They just all seem deep in thought. I still, to this day, I know some people left some suggestions to what it is, but I still don't know exactly uh, what it means, but... I just I just see it's just the average team talk. No bad reaction or no good reaction. Oh, there it is. There's a hat-trick for Tolly. Tom Tolly. What a way to mark yourself. Make a mark. Coming into the club towards the end of the season as a young prospect. Comes into the first team as really the starting striker. And he's been dominating. He's been more consistent than any other striker I've used this season. Honestly. He's been consistent. That's what I want with my strikers. And he's only, what, 16? It's only going to be good things in the future from him. So hopefully he can, yeah, he can be part of the uh, part of the future. Unless, of course, someone better comes along. So yeah, that was fantastic. He won the game for us. Three goals. I'm very pleased with that. He could push us. Like, I'm thinking about making all these signings to try and get promoted. But okay, yeah, that's for sure now. Um... Eastly are going to be the team that's get the auto promotion. But there is, this is, there's going to be a test game against Concord Rangers. They're a team we're going to be playing in the playoffs, unless they lose and Borham would win. But it's a test. We're playing against another good team in the league. So Eastly, they win, they secure it, and we secure the playoff spot. That's, so that's much more than I was expected to do this season. So regardless what happens from here, yeah, I've got my expectations for the first season, and Tolly's going to be an insane player. He's either footed. Seven goals in seven games. I can't ask for more, really, can I? From a 16-year-old. And he's not going to turn 17 until March of next year. Wow. He could be our leading goal scorer. Like, he can set that. Like, with this kind of team, he can set a record. Definitely. If we go over, where's records? Top league goal scorer. Where's the... Mostly goal. Scott Partridge. Okay, he's gone now. He's assistant manager. Uh, yeah, uh, who's played the most games? David Mogg or Dave Mogg, sorry. Yeah, 66, I can see him smashing that tolly, if we can keep him at least. If we can keep, and the highest league position ever is fourth in the Skrill Premier. So that's going to be the goal for me to get that, the highest league position ever. So that's going to be my goal for the future. Uh, got some scout reports on some other players, Zapata. Um, it says, yeah, he's not interested, unfortunately, but maybe in the future he's a quality player. Uh, Connor Henderson, the ex-Arsenal Youth Academy player, wouldn't want to come, unfortunately. Uh, bit, yeah, he's too good for this level, I think. Uh, but this guy, I'm surprised. Uh, Ian Weiren, he'll be a leading player in school premier sides, but no one wants him. That's the thing. Where did he come from? He came through the West Ham Academy, didn't make it. So I'm basically just waiting on him to want to come to my team because he is a quality player. Then we've got Muhammad Ali. Uh, he would be a good signing. But I don't think we need another defender at the current minute. But, uh, yeah, we can't afford him as well because we made offers for other players. But, yeah, at least he'll be on the short list maybe for a future. But he's not amazing. He's just a decent uh, player if you need a centre-back. 
Bath Team of the Week, Tom Tolley. It's just great that he's doing this right now. And especially, yeah, especially for the wages. Like, when you can get these youth players doing stuff, it's really, really good. Okay, Borham Wood, what's happening with them? They picked up a draw. Who it might not be good enough. It might not... It really depends. It depends what happens in the last game. Hazen Yetting. They're going to fight. And another ex-Arsenal prospect, uh, Bumatine. That's probably wrong how you say his name, but still, uh, he's on the short list for the future. Maybe if he wants to come. We'll work on attacking set pieces to try and win this. Kira Gilbert, another ex... Where's all these ex-Arsenal? This is all these players they produce. They always produce some quality at some level, at least. Would he want to join, see? Uh, maybe for next season, definitely. Is it, anyone want him? No one wants him, so maybe I'll hold on next season for a right-back and let my other two older right-backs go, and he could be the signing, I reckon. So definitely, I'm going to keep my tabs on him, definitely, for the future. No, not future, <laughs> for next season. You know, contracts expiring, yeah, all these players. Who's the highest current ability? Yeah, this guy, Dennis Stevens, I don't think he'd make an impact in the team, so I'm going to let him go. Heading is only four, not good enough. So Wright is going to join another young player, uh, enthusiastic midfielder. It's good for him to come to the club. Uh, he'll be joining in June, though, not right away, or now. Not in June. But the thing is, he's not at a team. Why wouldn't he? Oh, there's the deadline day for free transfers as well, so they can't join at any time. Or does that mean Flynn's not? Oh, only signed him because I wanted him to join now. So you can't do that, can you? Okay, I'm just going to cancel it. Yeah, because he's an older player and he's only going to be decreasing. Like by the time next season comes around, and this guy's got a stupid haircut as well, Simon Hudson. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, as I said, I can't. I just real. I thought they would join. Uh, they would join right away. Probably w people would have said that in the comments already. But yeah, who knows? Uh, but that's disappointing. I want. I remember I did that before. I'm pretty sure I did do that. Like when it was coming up to the playoffs, I made some couple signings in a, like a previous time, like a couple. Well, it was long ago actually. Football Manager 2008 when I played my big saves. Like when I played through a lot, but it's hard to remember exactly that far, like that long ago. But nonetheless, we'll move on. Final game of the season, at least in the league. And then we've got the playoffs, of course, which is going to be interesting in the next episodes. And now Jermaine Churchill, he's on superb morale, determination, 14 reflexes. That's big for this level, really. And at his best, that's going to be really, really high, I would imagine. Uh, so here, Aaron Brown. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm I might as well offer them new contracts. Did I offer to Ball? He's definitely, like, he's got a good attribute. Let's see if he wants a new 400. Hmm, what should I do? Uh, 300? Let's go 325. Let's just keep pushing for that 325. See, I'm he doesn't even have a manager or whatever, agent. Okay, he's not pushing for that. I'll put unused sub on 60 because he's never really the sub. Then we'll go back to 325. Okay, I'll just give him what he wants. <laughs> I can't be bothered with negotiating 25 pounds per week. So he's the, one of the younger players. Then Eric McKenzie. Oh, not Eric. Not sure I said Eric. Uh, he's just a football player or AFL. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> Curtis McKenzie, he's a younger type. He's probably worth giving a new contract. No, he's contract to 2015. So that's good. We got. It. I forgot that he was. Uh, any other... Oh, yeah, Williams is the one. I got confused. They're both similar types. Not... In terms of their age, not their position. He's impressed me as the season's gone by. Five goals and seven assists. Uh, what would he want? Mm, yeah, he wants a bit more. Let's... 275? 300? Well, probably, yeah. I knew he would have accepted there. So, that's good. Any other young guys that we do have that's impressed? No one, really. Because, yeah, as I said, a lot of my other players I'm going to be letting go. Anthony Jack has probably pushed 16 assists. Come on, that's... Uh, to be a, He's got potential to be a leading school premier. Okay, that's probably worth it. Uh, offer him a new contract. How much does he want that? Did I give him a new contract already? I did. Oh, forgot about that. Yeah, to 2015. So, like, sometimes I forget, like, when I play different saves and that. Stern's an interesting one. He's 23. He's probably not going to increase much more. Mm, it's hard to say. He's been a big goal scorer this season for us. 10 goals. 
Uh, let's see how he goes in this game, actually. This could be a testing game for him to get a contract, and he probably knows it as well. He knows it because his contract is running out. Uh, we've got a couple of younger players here, but... Yeah, actually, we're going to be in the playoffs for sure, so I'm going to give some younger guys a chance. As I said, uh, McKenzie will come off, and I'll bring Bennett. Bennett's the good... Not Dolan. Bennett's. Bennett's the good one, I'm pretty sure. No, he's the... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Um, Where's the other one? Yeah, Stuart Jones. He's the good one. He's the good one with the really high potential to be a League 2 level. So he's going to be getting a gig here today. Uh, roller right back. Actually, I'll bring Bennett, the... Um, what should I call him? <laughs> uh, he, the guy who scored an amazing goal on his debut. That's what he is. I'll bring him in, him in right back. Uh, Josh Lowe will come out. I just It's an opportunity to play younger players, really. So I'll be doing that. Some on the bench, some starting. However, I want it to go. Lamar Powell will be under 21s. There we go. We'll go into the match. Couple players playing for contracts. Concord Rangers. This is a crucial game as well. It's test. This is a test against a similar team we're going to be playing against in the playoffs. We could be playing them as well, so we'll see. Assertive. So the next episodes are going to be so exciting. I can't wait for it. It'll be exciting, and hopefully I win because I'll get some good reactions. If I lose, probably be bad reactions. So hopefully I do well. Come on. Early goal will be nice. And confidence to keep the morale high as well is absolutely crucial to get a win. Oh, Meacham. Good interception. Tolly to Jack. Did he actually want to pass that to the keeper? That's what it looked like uh, on first evidence there. Still got Burnell for the experience. Plays in Stern. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. Now, he deserves it. He deserves a contract. He's been really good this season. 13th goal. Nah, he deserves it. For a winger, I think he's only like played striker one game or something like that. He deserves it. He's really good. And he's still young, 23. Can grow a bit more. Stern, let's see what he does here. Finds Bennett, the guy I mentioned before. He finds Tolly, and Tolly scores again. <laughs> this guy is insane. Two goals in two minutes for us. Well, two goals in five minutes, like the first five games, but not five games, for five minutes of the game, I should say. Um, yeah, Tolly, how good is this guy going to be? Imagine if he wins it for us in the playoffs as well. Ooh. And on the, like the evidence he's shown, he could. Straight at Churchill, that free kick. Go ball. Williams. Adelsbury to ball. Win this Meacham. He's done okay. Stern again. Ooh, straight at their keeper. Really close chance. Williams. Nah, poor. That was a poor pass. Oh no, Woodley's on. Churchill saves again. Like I said before, equally, this guy is as good uh, as Tolly because he's making saves, and that's... It's hard to say. What's more important? What do you think is more important? A striker who scores heaps or a goalkeeper that makes you crucial saves? It pro it's probably about the same. One scores goals and one saves goals, so it's all about the same at the end of the day. Come on, Williams. Ooh, almost Tolly. He looks dangerous for a 16-year-old, really. And just turned recently 16. Got to be careful from these crosses. And it was a poor cross. Apparently, we have to weather the storm here. Concord Rangers are going on. So, yeah, like I said, this is a test. And we're actually living up to it with some younger players playing in the team as well. So, we're doing what we need to. Oh, no. Woodley's on and Churchill makes another save. Or another. Yeah, makes another save. Yeah, Cummings with the corner. Again, Jones with the header. Well done. We're looking to go 2-0 ahead away from home against one of the other best teams in the league uh, so far this season. Uh, let's just say passionately, they deserve it. I'm not going to say just, like, don't be complacent or something. They deserve a good team talk. Because they played really well. Ball intercepts. We've got a pretty young team, don't we? But mixed with also experienced players. Again, another good defensive header. Again. <laughs> and good clearance by Meacham. No nonsense stuff there. Come on, keep defending this. Ah, oh, they scored. 
Steve King. It was a good strike. It was a good strike. Only a second of the season. He had the space. And it's hard to save that. It was just in under the crossbar. Can't do much about that as a keeper. It was just a great strike. Oh, again, interception. Adelsbury, that's Adelsbury, yeah. He's had a good season as well. Hasn't scored as much as he did earlier, but still a very important player for the team in midfield. Come and intercept this. Oh, Churchill again makes the important save. Again, we're actually defending. We clear it out of defense really, really well with headers or just clearing it, whatever. Quick clearances. We'll see what here, yeah, happens here. Then we'll make the subs as this episode will be coming to a close. Oh, their goalkeeper's running up a bit. Oh, he hits it to Woodley. And Churchill again with the save. Now, this is not even a joke anymore. Like, he's dominating. Like, those kind of chances you expect to concede at this level especially. So here we'll drop out Anthony Jack. We'll give Noah Keats a game. Scott Wilson will come off to keep totally fit. He won't score a hat-trick in this game. And we'll bring on Mabbitt, uh, centre-back. But we'll take off the guy with the yellow card, Jones. Just to keep that fitness levels up and make sure he doesn't get a red. So a couple players looking happy there. Mabbitt will get happy. Oh, yeah, perfect. Perfect player talks there. All of them looking happy. And sorry if you can hear some background noise. They're just like rubbish trucks. <laughs> Uh, so here we should hold on uh, for the win away from home or could we score again? Bennett to Adelsbury. Ball. Williams. Stern finds it. Could we shoot? <laughs> oh, perfect passing. You're not going to see passing at this level like that often. That was really good stuff. Really good. That's the way I want my team to play and it's going to benefit in the future, no doubt, when we increase the quality of our players. Look at this. Around the box. First touch stuff at times. And Wilson, who's been in and out of the team because of injuries. He's been a good striker as well this season. He's scored important goals for us uh, to pick up points for us. And to help us be in the position we are uh, towards the end of the season. And yeah, at the end of the season now. We've had a lot of goal scorers at different times like Stern, Wilson... Adelsbury scored important goals. And there we go. A 3-1 victory away from home. This is what we need to do. Marvin Bennett picked up two assists. He was a player of the match. See, all these young players doing well. I've got a credit to him as well. So, a lot of younger players are stepping up and being best player. Okay, that's perfect. Because then, does that mean we play against them again? Is it second versus fifth? I suppose I'm going to find out. Uh, we should find out. There's a 3-1 victory. Um, yeah, we secure the playoffs, or they did. Bennett, let's take another look at him. He's only 15. Wow. He's got some high attributes, like bravery, aggression, and natural fitness. What's his potential like? To be a decent, another decent League 2 potential. So, whew, he's got three assists. Not bad for a centre-back. Three assists so far. Working on his heading, because that's only four. Are we going to see who we play against? I just want you, so you know. Oh, we, we're going to play against Concord Drones, but now we're playing at home. Oh, it's two, It's over two legs. I forgot about that. You think we could do it again? We should be able to, but I guess you're going to find out what happens in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then.